Here we have the Spanish cedar neck plank. Quarters on and the ends have been waxed when the wood was cut down and put to dry. So far, I've cut off this piece, which will be the headstock of the guitar. Then, I've sliced it to three pieces to release the possible tensions in the wood. And the middle one is going to be turned 180 degrees. This will be a very stable leg. Very accurate you know, this. In the previous episode you saw me stepping on the neck, snapping it broke. So why did it break like that? Well that's because of the grain run out of the neck. Traditionally this type of neck is done with one piece of wood, grain running along the neck like that. And here at the angled area, the grain gets shorter and shorter, and right here is the weakest point. And this is where the Gibson Les Pauls break when they break. And to avoid that, we'll do a few things different. We've already glued the headstock from a separate piece, and this is exactly to avoid the grain run out of the neck. Now the, the grain runs in the neck like this and in the headstock like that. And then there's another trick that will not only improve the strength but also the tone. I've now fitted thermotreated maple splines to the neck which crosses the glue joint of the headstock and further improves the bend strength of the neck, which improves the energy transference from the strings to the neck and eliminates dead spots as well. Now I reached the stage with these guitars where I suppose I should prove my point and step on this one too, to see if it's any better than the traditional one, right? Okay, let's get on with it. Wish me luck. That's about it for now folks. I hope I don't ever have to step on guitar next again. Feels really weird I have to say. See you in a couple of weeks. Bye.